Okay, good morning. Thank you for watching my video. This will be a video on programming a PIC 10F200 microcontroller by Microchip. Now, to begin with, I'm not an expert. I'm just an enthusiast. So I'll do my best to program the integrated circuit to the best of my ability, but I might not get it perfect. So I actually just got the chips in the mail. I bought 20 of them. They came in kind of these cases. They do have the official microchip logo on the chip, so I take it, they're authentic chips. Can't see why they wouldn't be. So, uh, no electrostatic wristband. Oh well. Here's one of the chips. Alright, so I set this up to the best of my ability and just watching pick programmer tutorials on YouTube. I'm remembering that this uh, pin six on the programmer tends not to get used. For reference and for my own sake, I tried to color code the wires so that they actually match the PIC 10F200 pinouts. And I will methodically go over this. So pin two, is the VDD. Pin 1 is not connected. Pin 3 doesn't get any jumper to the pick kit. Pin 4 is the ICSP in circuit serial programming CLK clock pin. So that's pin 4 on the microchip going to pin 5. That's correct. Pin 5 here, the yellow one, in circuit Serial programming data is going to fourth pin here, which is the correct one, PGD. Next, pin six is not connected. Pin seven, VSS is ground, which I have a black cable for ground coming around. I'm going to pin three, which is VSS, which is ground. Pin eight, the VPP or M clear which is the purple line, is going to the mclear VPP, which is pin one on the pick kit. Now I'll just hook the uh, pick kit up into the COM port on my PC, which is down here. Sorry about the dust. So I have the MP Lab X IDE open with the latest version, I think. And I'm setting this up for the first time for my PIC 10F200 chip. I just want to see if I can get it to work. So I'll try to create something as simple as a blink program. We'll see how far I get. So file, new project, standalone project. Relying, relying on a reference source. I was instructed to go to baseline 8-bit MCUs, pick 10, pick 10F200, next. I'll skip the debug header. I will select pick kit 3. Now this is where I'm a little confused because there's, there is the MPASM 
or the XC8 compiler. I was watching a Circuit Bread, which is the name of the YouTube channel, video, and he was creating code in assembly language, so I was wondering if that's why he was choosing MPASM over XC8, because when I was reading the Khaled Mogdi intro to pick programming, which is video 3 in my playlist, he's somehow suggesting because of the C language that the XC8 compiler should be used. Well, I'm not sure, and maybe if I figure that out, I can leave a comment posted to the top of the comment section below. Or if you're listening and you have insight, please leave a comment. I'm still figuring that one out. So, I guess I'll choose the XC8 compiler, if I can get it to work. Okay, clicked there. Next. I'm calling this project PIC10F200 and finish. Okay, I guess I have a blank project here. Okay, now according to previous tutorials I've read, go to source files, go to new, and add a main.c file. I guess I'll just call it 10f. And here's what came up. Okay, so now I will create a header, new XC8 header. I'll call it 10f underscore header. This is what shows up. Just not really sure why the configuration bits on the bottom shows up like was it eight times? Okay, well, I tried to investigate what the best setup is, but ultimately I'm just going to choose what seems the best to me. So the watchdog timer I will turn off. Uh, code protect, it's already off. M clear. Okay, well, here is the pinouts from the data sheet, and I suppose I'm selecting whether eight or whether pin 8 is going to be an input-out pin or the mclear pin. I think I'll use it as a reset pin. That sounds good to me. So on. Generate source code. Source code to output. Paste. In. All right, so I finally got my PIC 10F200 to work the way I wanted it to. I won't be discussing the final project that I plan on using this chip in, because that's a separate discussion, that's a separate video. But I will try and recap all of the problem solving that I had to go through in order to code this particular chip. For reference, I largely relied upon the Gulagum Electronics video, this exact video, but I also borrowed this if statement from another YouTube video, and that video now escapes me. Partly this is a memorandum for myself so that I know how to do this again. I won't claim to be an expert. I'm certainly not. I'm a beginner. Anyway, I abandoned using a header file 
in my project. So I just deleted the header file and I included this hashtag include xc.h which I think is a library and then I went to production and uh, set bits configuration I think I went to well maybe it was this one and I set all the configuration bits originally I wanted the mclear button to be enabled but for reasons I'm not even really sure of uh, GP2 was not working properly on the chip either I blew it blew it out somehow maybe connected it to ground directly or something I don't know what I did but GP2 doesn't seem to be working so then I actually needed to use this mclear pin for an input pin so that means I disabled the, M the mclear and I'm using it as an input pin I understand that the internal oscillator is internal but it still has to be defined within the code so that's what this is here 4 megahertz here's the tris register and I understand that each of these correspond to a bit this being uh, GP3 to the left GP2, GP1, GP0 so GP3 and GP2 I set as inputs even though there's a bit of an issue with GP2 that I still haven't resolved yet and uh, GP1 and GP0 are outputs and then the beginning of the code GP1 and GP0 which are output pins I set to high so they should always be high but if there is um, a high sensed on GP3 and it's a question equals equals to 1 then there's a delay of 2 seconds and then GP1 goes low with a very brief delay and then GP0 goes low with another brief delay and then they both back they both go back up to high so the effect which hopefully I can include in a separate video clip at the end the effect is that when GP3 senses a high signal there's a two second delay and GP1 and GP0 have quick blips low to ground I had so many issues compiling this using MPLAB X IDE and also the IPE software so relying on the Saravanan AL video which explains different methods of compiling and uploading your project I used this old PIC3 programmer device family I picked 10F200 import hex I selected it and then just recording my computer screen you can see my hands here and uh, yeah I cut the last little bit off so uh, just import hex file and I hit open imported successfully and then I hit write which was fine and I'll show you what that looks like on the pick programmer I'll click right again okay it's not the best uh, lighting but here's the pick 10f200 here's the pick programmer and I'll click right okay so I've got it hooked up to the power supply my chips in the board and um, GP1 and GP0 are at the bottom of the chip and I've got it hooked up to a push button so there's a two second delay and then they both blink push one two 
and back on. And that might not be very exciting, but that's what I need in a particular project I'm working on. 